Hey, this is Matt from Vestaquant. Today is Wednesday, May 13th, 2020. Uh, this morning we opened basically flat, just, just a few points above yesterday's close and tested a little bit higher before rolling over and selling off. And we are currently holding near the lows at the time of this recording. And I wanna go ahead and test this pattern. The pattern that we'll be looking at is opening in prior day range. So we just barely opened within prior day range this morning. And the open being in the top 25% of the intraday range. Um, so the, the open was up here, that's near the top portion of the range. And currently we are trading in the bottom quartile of the range. So I'll use that as uh, kind of building out this price action. So opening the top quarter and trading down in the bottom quartile. And I'm also gonna put that we are trading below yesterday's low as well in this uh, test that we're gonna run here going into the close. So let's set this up. I'll go ahead and set it up in all four instruments here. Uh, intraday time-based entry, we'll do a 3 p.m. entry. Leave that set as a long. The exit will be 4.15 p.m. Eastern time. For the opening filter, I'm just gonna use opening in prior day range. And then I'm gonna build out this price action where you open in the top 25% of the intraday range. And then at 3 p.m. Eastern time, you're trading in the bottom 25% of the intraday range. So that's creating a very red candlestick. And then also trading below the prior day low at 3 p.m. Eastern time. And for indicators, I'm just gonna put this up below a 200 just to try to keep as many samples as possible. And let's see what this uh, gives us. All right, so here we go. This is the results of going long at 3 p.m. Eastern time when you open within the prior day range. And at 3 p.m. Eastern time, the open is at the top quartile of the range. The 3 p.m. price is in the bottom quartile of the range, and it is also trading below yesterday's low. All this happening uh, when yesterday closed below a 200-day moving average. So looking at the results, uh, we actually had more samples here than I was expecting. We have uh, just north of 70 in ES, NASDAQ, YM right at 70, and Russell at 93. Looks like ES has the weakest win rate historically, just 34%. NASDAQ's a little bit closer to 50-50. NASDAQ's not below 200, so this is not in play for NASDAQ today. Uh, YM looks a bit weak as well, so that one coming in at 41%, and Russell at 46% win rate, so that one's a little bit more like the NASDAQ. But ES looks like it is the weakest of the four. Um, they're not all super weak, so maybe not the most ro robust pattern historically, but the ES has uh, performed weak in that scenario historically. So I hope you found that interesting. Good luck the rest of the day, and we will see you tomorrow.